Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. To myself. What a wonderful So today's video is my empties for the month of April, which is a lot. This bin is very full, so I'm going to set this down and start going through it. Okay, let's start off with first things first, candles. So I did finish off two candles. One actually Ryan finished and one I finished. So the first one that I finished is Give Hope Peppermint Marshmallow from Bath and Body Works. This one I picked up at Winter, at, not Winter SAS. I think I picked it up at Candle Day actually. And it's been in my project, use it up for candles for about four months. So here is my progress on that. One month, two month, three month, and then I finished it off. It really only had like two more burns after I had um, updated you guys in my project Use It Up Wax Edition a few weeks ago. So honestly, this scent is so beautiful and sweet and super, not very strong, but super soothing. The scent notes are crushed peppermint, fluffy marshmallow, marshmallows, and powdered sugar. So I've been picking this up for two years in a row now. It's honestly a beautiful scent. If you don't like uh, lower throwing ones, you won't like this one, but I swear it's the most beautiful like just candy like super simple sweet note i love it it's so beautiful um if you don't like super low ones maybe you could put it in your candle crock and it would be a little higher but i just did this one burning and it was really nice for me honestly and then this one ryan finished up from aldi the huntington home fall flannel shirt this is actually from last fall um he didn't start using it though until maybe around january but it honestly smelled like um, with mahogany teak, teak wood on first sniff, but after that, it didn't smell too much like that. It did smell a little cheapy, but he actually really enjoyed it as just kind of like a nice vibe setter in the in his um, office downstairs. But he doesn't have an office here anymore. He actually went back to the office his company did full time, so he's no longer downstairs, so he can't go through through these candles as much. So I'm not gonna buy him probably three wicks anymore, maybe just one wicks, but. He did enjoy this one. And then let's talk about hand soap because I finished off three in the past month and we had to start using just like generic hand soaps. I'm so sad because I was on a no buy for all of April, but I did just do a soap haul at the most recent sale. So I did restock, but yeah, finished off three soaps last month. The first one is coconut cream pie. This scent is so yummy. The notes are toasted coconut flakes, caramel custard, and golden pie crust. It smells delectable. It smells so good, just like the body care, just like the candle. So amazing. I had this one in my bathroom. So amazing. And then the next one is blueberry maple pancakes. Ryan finished off this one. He's a blueberry obsessed fan. I don't know. Um, the scent notes are wild blueberries, griddle, fresh pancakes, and warm maple syrup. It was almost too much for fall, I would say, but he didn't mind it. He's not picky at all, but it was just like a super sweet maple -y blueberry, and I think I picked this up at SAS, so I got it on a really good deal, so it was a good one. Um, I might not pick it up again, though. And then the last one is Cozy Vanilla Almond, also amazing. I think we had this in our guest bathroom downstairs. The notes are vanilla orchid, sugared almond, and sweet musk. The almond scent is just to die for. It's so sophisticated in this scent. They still have this around. I think it's just in the regular like white barn section. And I don't think it's gonna go away anytime soon, but it is just a beautiful scent. Honestly, a little bit like fall-like, but that's why I really enjoyed it because it was fall-like and fall is my favorite season. Okay, body care. Let me fish out the body care in here because I have a lot. So I'll start off with full size items. The first being whipped vanilla chiffon. Scent notes on this one are wild vanilla bean, sponge sugar, and white peach blossom. This was such a good scent. I started it off from like having no use on it and finished it in one, two, three, three and a half months. So it was amazing. Honestly, a really nice intro to spring scent. I enjoyed it so much. Honestly, smelling it right now, it's a little too strong, um, but I really enjoyed it while I had it. I probably will wait till next spring if I want to buy it again, but it was so, so, so good. Um, I don't think they actually sell this currently, but they did have it out at Winter SAS, so I can assume that it'll be back out at Summer SAS. So keep your eyes peeled if you are interested in this one. And then I did finish off my Christmas cookies body cream, which thank God, because it started turning neon yellow and it was almost staining my skin. So um, 
thank you guys for telling me in the comments of a, a video a while ago, I think I did my body care collection, um, that on the top of the spine of these body creams is where the date code is. So this one starts with a zero. So this is from 2020 winter. So this is going on like a year and a half old. So really needed to finish it up. Honestly, body, body creams don't last longer than a year for me. Um, it took me, let's see, one, two, three months to finish up. Once I concentrated on it, I really got through it fast, but man, this one I was really worried about going bad on me. It started to, but I went super fast with it. But this scent is hands down amazing. The notes are creamy cookie dough, almond biscotti, and caramel woods. So good, can't be beat. It's just like a beautiful, gooey caramel cookie dough scent. It is so yummy. Um, I don't think I could take it any longer because now that it's like hitting the 90 degrees in Houston, I can't handle like a gourmand cookie like this. Not in a lotion, maybe in like a shower gel, but not in lotion. So I'm glad I finished it off, really enjoyed it, but I'm gonna stick with that one in probably just lotion form in the future because I can really only see myself using it in the winter time. The next thing I finished off is Kraken Me Up Peppermint Sugar Cookie Antibacterial Hand Gel. This is from, I think, just last year um, for Christmas. It was just like a really nice peppermint scent. I like that they came up with a bunch more peppermint sugar cookies, sugar cookie stuff last year for the winter time. They came out with the candle, the pocket back. I think they had the spray hand sanitizer and also the hand soap. And it was good in all forms. I think I had it in everything but the spray. So I really enjoyed that. And the next thing I finished off is Love Cotton Candy Champagne in the hand cream. This scent was amazing. I honestly really liked it for springtime because it is just like a cotton candy scent. Um, I don't think this love scent was really just like only meant for winter time because it's just cotton candy. <laughs> like you could do this any time of year, like they did Boardwalk Taffy last year and that was a cotton candy scent during the summer. So it was just really good. I love their hand creams. I go through about one a month, so I'm on track with that one. And the last body care item I finished off is the Bath & Body Works Sunrise Woods Creamy Body Scrub. I loved this. This formula, I think this is the first time I've ever tried this formula from them. It's so nice. It's gentle, but still good enough for like everyday use or every other day use. It still works as a scrub, but it was very gentle and I loved it. The notes on uh, Sunrise, Wo Sunrise Woods are creamy sandalwood, sweet berries, and cozy cashmere. It was just like a nice, simple scent. It wasn't anything too special, but it wasn't too like fall-like, so I could use it whenever I wanted. Um, but it looks like it wasn't a project use it up and I use it one month, two month, three month, and then four. So finish that off. Very happy. It's pretty rare that I finish off a body scrub. Okay, let's move to some home fragrance. I did finish off three wax melts. The first one being Sonoma Coconut Sea Salt. I did pick this up from Kohl's on clearance um, for $2.09. And this one honestly smells like mahogany teakwood to me. It's a very nice version of mahogany teakwood so if i happen to go there again i would pick it up it was a really good thrower i did it in the bedroom it lasted like a whole week and it was really really great um pro tip on sonoma wax if you have a amazon return and you go return it to your local coal your local coals because coals is now like an amazon return and an amazon locker most coals are or at least the ones near me in houston are um if you go return there they give you a free coupon for like I don't know, $5 Kohl's cash or something to spend on anything. So I went and bought like $5 worth of Sonoma wax and it was all free. So pro tip. From Sensationals, I finished off two wax cubes, one in cookies and cream. This one was so good. It honestly smelled like Oreo cake. It smelled delicious in my kitchen. Oh my God, it made me so hungry for something sweet. And then I finished off Strawberry Crunch actually like yesterday. It was so yummy. Just like a nice, kind of like a gelato strawberry scent. Really, really yummy. Super sweet and fruity. It was just such a good scent. So that's all for wax. And then I did finish up a bunch of wallflower bulbs. It was just wallflower refill month <laughs> this month. It's usually like every other month we have to refill. So the first one, actually let's talk about these three. These are all just the Airwick, the Glade Airwick plugins. And they're all in like clean linen, I think. That's the only scent we use in the house. Um, we put them pretty much on every floor. We have three floors to our townhome, so you kind of need the need those to keep the dog smell from 
you know, overtaking the house. So those are really great. We finished off three of those. And then we did finish off a Bath and Body Works refill, which we have in our bathroom. This is Sunwash Citrus. That's what we finished. Notes are Sorrento Lemon, Citron, and Agave Nectar. I usually put something fruity in the bathroom just to, you know, get the scents going so it doesn't start smelling musky or like the toilet area or anything like that. So I always like to have something fruity going in the bathroom. And then we do usually have like a linen or like a fresh scent in the hallway upstairs as well, which that one did not need to be replaced yet. So that's it for the wallflowers. Okay, kind of a random one. I have the Degree Motion Sense deodorant <laughs> in Sexy Intrigue. I actually just picked up a different one in Degree Advanced Motion Sense in Coconut and Hibiscus. And I've been really loving this one for summer. It just has like that slight coconut scent and I think it's really nice. It works really well too. Okay, I've got quite a few hair care items. So the first one being my Love Beauty and Planet Sulfate Free Shampoo Scrub. Love this stuff to death. I've talked your ears off about it enough, but it is amazing. The AG Hair Care Fast Food Leave-On Conditioner. Finally getting through all of my hair care items that I got in like Ipsy and BoxyCharms from 2015. I had, I think I had Ipsy from 2015 to 2019 and BoxyCharm from like 2017 to 2019. So I racked up a lot of just like random trial size items. So finally finishing off hair care. This was pretty good. Um, yeah, not, not like crazy about it, but I might consider repurchasing it just cause I did like it once I run out of my other ones. And then I did finish off this duo from Briogeo in Farewell Frizz. I hated this. I actually really hated this because it did not lather and it did not make my hair, the conditioner did not make my hair feel soft at all. So I definitely would not consider buying the full size of that one. And then I did finish off this Coco and Eve, like a virgin hair mask, just like a, a foil sample. I think I got this one. I ordered something from Ulta. It was nice. Um, I don't think I would consider getting the full size because it was nothing like revolutionary, but it was nice. Okay, I've got a few skincare items. The first being the Tony Moly I'm Aloe Sheet Mask. I usually use about like one a month. I have like a pamper day where I do a face mask. So finish that off. It's honestly nothing special. It doesn't really do much for my skin, but I just really love putting on a face mask and just like sitting there and having a good self-care day out of it. The next thing that both Ryan and I finished off is a CeraVe Daily Moisturizing Lotion. We just use this on our face morning and night. I get the big size and I refill like a little mini for next to my sink and then Ryan gets the huge bottle. But yeah, just super simple, something that we don't have to think about, but like just a good generic moisturizer. Okay, next I did finish off a Mary Kay Clear Proof Clarifying Cleansing Gel with 2% salicylic. Um, this is really good. I love it for, I have um, hormonal acne and I use this only at nighttime in the shower and I really enjoy it. I already have a backup going in my shower right now. And I did also finish off a vitamin C serum from Liliana Naturals. This was sent to me as a free gift when I purchased their eye cream, the Liliana Naturals eye cream. I loved it. It was actually really great. I did notice a difference in my skin, like being brighter, a little bit less um, like sunspot damage. I don't have a lot of that, but I do have a little bit. Um, so I did actually really enjoy this. And then I did finish off the Pacifica Clean Shot BHA AHA 25% Peeling Solution. So this is basically like a dupe for that red one from The Ordinary, the, the BHA Peel from them. I liked this one a lot. The other one I know have, I've heard from people that it burns. You can only use it once a week, which that's pretty much what I did with this one. Um, it was just a mask that you put on for, I think like 10 minutes and then you wash it off. And I did actually see good results with it. I did like it. So I would consider getting it again. Yeah. Okay, the last few things are some makeup products. The first being the e.l.f. Brown Sugar Lip Scrub, which honestly was like a mess using this. Um, for the last couple of times, like, I don't think I'm going to purchase this one again, or if I do, I would purchase maybe like the mint one because like this just wasn't it near the end. It was so messy and like just obtrusive to use. And I just like hated it. So I probably won't repurchase this, but if I do, it would just be the mint one. But I do actually have a Bath and Body Works coffee lip scrub that I have going in the shower right now that I'm loving. So I don't think I'll be purchasing one anytime soon. I did also finish off the Cover FX Blurring Primer. This is another, I think this is a BoxyCharm one that I got probably in 2017. It is like 
demolished, but I mean, I used it for five years. I pretty much use it every day for the past two years. So I got a lot of use out of this bad baby and it was really good to me. So I loved it. Um, I did actually just purchase a e.l.f. poreless putty primer to replace it. So we'll see if I like that one as much as this. And if I don't, then I'll go repurchase this one because it is so good. And the last thing I finished off is the Milk Makeup Bronzer Stick in Baked. And I did also just buy a new one of this, but basically it stopped twisting off up after like two weeks of use, which is insane. So I started digging out the product inside with a brush and just putting it on that way. And I actually really enjoyed that method, but I just felt like this is gross. I've had this for, for probably over three or four years. Um, and to begin with, I bought it from TJ Maxx. So it's probably super old and I shouldn't be using cream products for that long. So I decided to go ahead and declutter this and replace it with a new one. So that was a lot of empties. Um, I feel like I use a lot of stuff besides just like Bath and Body Works products, like besides just candles and body care. So that was a good month for that. I wasn't really focusing on anything in particular besides like those few Bath and Body Works products, but it was really nice to get a lot of use out of a lot of products. So that's everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe down below, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!